All right, everybody, welcome back inside the main ballroom here for the 2015 SVG NACTA College Sports Media Awards. It's always a big highlight of the show for us, we know, and hope it is for you, too. Uh, really big year for the awards this year. Uh, we had a huge spike in entries. We had more than 400 uh, entries come in through the gates, 30% increase over last year, which is also our biggest year. Uh, and it, it has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with you guys. You guys are creating incredible content. This, I know we say it every year and it sounds like a broken record, but the stuff that comes in every year just gets more and more impressive. It gets harder to tell the difference between what's pro and what's a academic. Uh, it's really a credit to everyone in this room, the incredible work that's being done throughout each year. Uh, we've added a new, uh, a new category this year that our host will kind of elaborate on in a little, uh, as we get to that point in the show. Uh, so we got some different videos and different types of content creation that we'd like to honor today. Uh, and again, we appreciate you being here, being a part of this organization, and uh, taking part in this competition. Uh, I'd like to bring to the stage the Master of Ceremonies for tonight's show. You might recognize him from his coverage of college football on Fox Sports and Fox Sports 1. Please help welcome to the stage Mr. Joel Klatt. First of all, congratulations to everyone just for being here. Obviously an honor after all the entries that Brandon was talking about. What he didn't mention is that this year is also very big because you guys don't get Reese Davis, you get me, so someone famous, uh, which is really good. Um, no, I, listen, Reese is a fantastic guy. I haven't met him, touched his arm once, seemed like a good dude. Um, I, I am so excited to be here because the passion and uh, familiarity to not only college football, which I'm heavily involved in, but college athletics runs deep in every fan base. It's something that you just can't explain because you live it. It's just part of who you are. It's the fabric of each fan base. It's like family showing up on Saturdays or for a basketball game. Uh, maybe it's an alumni weekend for the softball team when they come back in and watch the team play, the soccer team, um, track reunion, whatever it is, people that attend these universities, whether they were athletes themselves or normal under, undergraduate students, feel as though they're a part of something bigger than themselves. And what's so cool about this room is that you, we, get to be the conduit of connectivity for those people back to that time of their lives. It is a remarkable experience to connect someone back, to see their passion for their university. I experienced it actually just coming out here. Rivalries are what college football is all about. I mean, that's what I remember as a player was rivalry games. I, was, I played at Colorado, and although you wouldn't know it from the past decade, we used to win. <laughs> and we had great rivalries with Nebraska for a lot of years, game uh, the Friday after Thanksgiving. We had great rivalry games with Colorado State. And a couple of years ago, obviously Colorado moves to the Pac-12 conference. It was sad for me because I knew that those rivalry games were not going to exist as I knew them and lived them and breathed them. But deep down, they're still there. So I go back home. I, I moved to L.A. a couple of years ago as well for, for Fox Sports, and a couple of weeks ago, my wife and I took our two little boys back to Denver to see the grandparents, so on and so forth. That's where I was from. And I had to take an Uber one day because uh, I, was, I was doing something, and I wanted to leave our, our rental car with my wife so that she could yeah. – you know, hang out with the kids. So I get an Uber and the guy picks me up and he's got a Colorado State hat on. I'm like, yeah, you know, that's fine, whatever. But deep down, I'm thinking to myself, ah, Colorado State, what's he doing? He starts talking, recognizes me, and we start talking about college football. And we had a great conversation. It was one of those things that just right off the bat, we're sitting there, we're talking about old CSU teams and old Colorado teams. Who are going to be the great teams next year? Who are going to be the Heisman front runners for next season? And then he starts talking about coaches and, and coaches that he loves in the game. And who do I respect from being in coaches' meetings with them and covering their teams? 
And I start telling them, you know, about all the meetings that we have. And we're having this great conversation. It's about a 30-minute ride. And now we're about at the 25-minute mark. And he says, well, who's your favorite coach of all time? And I don't know why it took me by surprise since our conversation was obviously headed there in the first place. But it kind of took me by surprise. And so I immediately always default to history rather than talking about a current guy when it's just like the greatest of all time. You know, Jordan doesn't play it anymore, so I think Jordan's the best. I would never say LeBron's better than Jordan. Yeah, I hope I didn't offend anybody there. I'm sure I didn't. We're in Atlanta. So <laughs> I defaulted to history, and I say, Paul Bear Bryant. And he's like, what are you talking about? And the tone of our conversation changed like that. He starts getting angry with me. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't expect this. He starts rattling off. Sonny Lubick at Colorado State and Bill McCartney at Colorado and Bobby Bowden. And he's rattling off coaches. Bill Snyder and what he did at Kansas State is remarkable. And he's genuinely upset with me. And I didn't know how to respond, especially when he asked me the question, why? Why did you say Paul Bear Bryant? And I just I think to myself, first of all, when is this ride going to be over? <laughs> Second of all, I guess when I get to heaven, I just want to shake his hand and say, I think you're the best coach of all time. The way you did it, the area in which you coached it, that's what I said to him. And he kind of snaps around. We're driving, like we're approaching a stoplight, and he kind of snaps around at me, and he was like, well, what if he's not there? <laughs> so I said, you tell him. <laughs> I can't wait to award some of these awards tonight. Uh, the work that goes in from a national level, from a regional level, the college level, the student level is remarkable. Brandon was exactly right. Um, I know that we strive to get better at Fox Sports each and every year. I know that all of your programs strive to get better each and every year. And this first category is very exciting because it is the new category that Brandon spoke of. Outstanding live studio remote hosted programming. It's, it's new and it shouldn't have been. Sorry, Brandon, I know I'm, I'm new to this, but it shouldn't have been because we've got so many great hosted programs that are either live at events or in studios. It's really what kind of drives the pre-game experience, the post-game experience, the halftime experience for those that are enjoying these uh, events via whatever means, national, regional, internet, whatever it is. It's really the driver and, and and we get to tie the bow around everything that goes on. So I'm so happy that this program uh, has decided to award uh, this category, Outstanding Live Studio and Remote Hosted Program. And tonight's nominees in the college student division are. Texas A&M University, 12th Man Productions, Toast with Totes. St. Cloud State University, Husky Productions, Husky Mag. Arizona State University, Walter Cronkite School of Journalism, Cronkite Sports Live. Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link, Chirpies. University of Oklahoma, Sooner Sports Pad. And tonight's first winner is St. Cloud State University Husky Productions Husky Mag. Welcome to Husky Mag. I'm Ted LaRue alongside Taylor Budge. Plenty of headlines to get to. Our first one that we're going to get to here today is on the men's hockey rink. Minnesota Duluth doesn't travel well to St. Cloud State. Yeah, that's right, Ted. Let's take a look at the last 10 meetings at the Brook Center between these two schools. Duluth has not picked up a win since October of 2004 here at the Brook Center. They were looking to change that. St. Cloud State taking on Minnesota Duluth at the Herbrooks National Hockey Center. The fans were ready to go here after the split over Minnesota last week. Early in this. Uh, 
Um, thank you to SDG. I was the producer of all those shows um, that we did. Uh, thank you to St. Cloud State for the amazing program that they have there and to our athletic department for all of the sports that they offer for us to cover. Um, we have a great partnership with Husky Productions which offers the live hockey broadcasts. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. We've been part of this for the past three years and uh, to finally come out here and get to experience something like this is something that we'll never forget. So thank you so thank much. You. I don't know why it just hit me because there's so many young faces in the crowd and obviously so many in entries, but for someone like me, you guys might be my boss someday. Uh, on that note, I hope you liked the joke to start things out. Let's move on to the uh, regional and local conference digital networks in the category of outstanding live studio remote hosted programming, and the nominees are Longhorn Network, Texas Game Day Live. BYU TV, after further review. Fox Sports South, Sports South, the new college football show. Longhorn Network, Texas Pro Day. Fox Sports South, Sports South, ACC Gridiron Live. And our winner is Longhorn Network, Texas Game Day Live. Happy to be back with my guys. Yes, Me too, because I'm no longer the shortest person on this set. Thank you very much for that, Ahmad Brooks, and the one, the only, Vince Young. Remember, create a player. You built the stud that you could put at linebacker and running back. Well, we didn't have to create players. We were already on the. Game. <laughs> I never oh, thought of it that man. way. It just got real. But you could have won the Heisman Trophy with yourself. When you win the Heisman Trophy, you need <laughs> anything with a long run on it. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. I was sitting next, next to my good friend Rick Thomas from Fox, and he just asked me, who are those uh, guys on your set? I was like, uh, that's Ricky Williams and Vince Young. Uh, <laughs> Rick. Uh, thanks very much. It's a bi uh, big honor. Uh, more than anything we do at Longhorn Network, uh, this show is touched by everybody that works there. So it's a, it's a great team uh, award. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Our uh, next grouping is Collegiate Athletics, the students in the category of Outstanding Live Studio Remote Hosted Program. And the nominees tonight are. University of Arkansas, Razorback Sports Network, National Signing Day Show. Minnesota State University Moorhead, Dragons Live from Evansville, Indiana. University of Wyoming, Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl. Liberty University, Liberty Flames Sports Network, Liberty University National Signing Day 2015. University of Notre Dame, Fighting Irish Digital Media, Shamrock Series Pregame, live from Indianapolis. Texas A&M University, 12th Man Productions, Texas A&M National Signing Day Show. 
University of Buffalo, UB Bulls National Signing Day Special. The students there, that was my fault, college athletics group. And tonight's winner is Liberty University National Signing Day 2015. signed 14 players to NLI yesterday and today we have wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the newest class. We've got in-depth interviews with the coaches and some special segments you won't want to miss. And Nick, signing day and the recruiting process has gained in popularity across the country and it's no different for us here at Liberty. It's unbelievable, Alan. I mean, you look across the country and you've got people putting cameras on fax machines at different schools. It's insanity, really, how people have really dialed into recruiting and also national signing day. Probably recognize this guy right here, Nick Pierce, one of their hosts, uh, Matthew Bird, the producer. Uh, just grateful, first of all, SVG for hosting this event, giving us opportunity to submit. Uh, thankful for our team. A lot of hours went into each production that we did leading up to this. We're very blessed at Liberty. A lot of uh, facilities that we're able to take advantage of. Very thankful for those, thankful for the opportunity. Just kind of echo what Matt said. We definitely appreciate this honor, and uh, it's uh, way beyond anything that I did. Those guys worked very hard. Actually, it's kind of funny. The night before the show, we were coming back from doing a basketball game kind of late, Alan and I. So those guys made us look good. It's all on them, but thank you so much. And our last group for this category, the national networks, the professional broadcasts, an outstanding live studio remote hosted program, our nominees tonight. Pac-12 Networks, College Football Championship Pre-Game Show. Pac-12 Networks, College Football Game Day. Fox Sports, Fox College Sports Live. ESPN, College Basketball Game Day. ESPN, College Football Game Day. ESPN, College Football Playoff Selection Special. Man, who is that handsome guy from Fox? Oh, I'm sure that they're going to win this award, right? Not tonight. ESPN, College Game Day for Football. By Corso. Oh, it's yeah, is that who you're wearing this morning? Yeah, I said that, but weighs about yeah. 50 pounds. Oh man, he's hey, heavy. Can I, can I borrow that and go to the fight tonight in Vegas? <laughs> Stop me when there's a surprising aspect to this story, okay? <laughs> Nothing surprising. Uh, an autographed guy goes to a high-profile player. The high-profile player says, "Sure, I'll sign some stuff." There's videotape evidence of it. The autographed guy tries to peddle that videotape evidence of it, there, but there's no proof. Money changes hands. I'm Stoss Hall. I'm with ESPN3. I had absolutely nothing to do with that. <laughs> but I happen to be here, and I uh, graciously accept. Um, I do uh, share a, a wall of offices with, with some of the guys who work on that show, and I know how, uh, I know how hard they work. I know how much they care about their product and, and uh, the time that they spend at it. So appreciate the, uh, the award, and thank you so much. Just shows what I know. I just gave Stoss my resume. Doesn't even work on the show. <laughs> Rick, don't tell anyone back at work, all right? You got that? Um, our next category tonight is something that I, I remember back. So I, I was in school from 02 to 05. 
and which seems like a lifetime now. It's you know going on over a decade, and it was kind of the first generation of these these self-built, um, university-ran, program-built, student-run uh, marketing campaigns and PSAs, and and I can you know remember shooting them for the students, and they would. Uh, I remember the business department actually had a class that did it as a project, uh, and it was for a grade that they would put together a marketing campaign for the football program. So the kids came over, the, the other students came over and, and shot some of the PSAs and, and marketing material. And I just thought then, I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of fun. But now you see the, the importance and the level of production that is going on out there. And I got to tell you, it's remarkable. I go around to the games. I do a lot of the Thursday night games for Fox Sports 1. And, and you see the um, the, the production on the big screen when a team's coming out of the tunnel and those type of videos for football or, or basketball, any sport, and everybody in the stadium gets all of their energy from something like that. You know, like those people in this room are creating the energy in the stadium for some of the most unique athletic events that we have in our country. I just think it's so remarkable and very, uh, very cool. So tonight's category, uh, outstanding promotion PSA tease or marketing campaign. Uh, and we'll start with the collegiate student division. Tonight's nominees are. <laughs> Western Illinois University, football pregame. Virginia Tech University, pokey vision, bad lip reading. I'm on board, mom! University of South Carolina, Gamecock Productions, softball intro. Harvard University, the game intro. St. Cloud State University, Husky Productions, Hockey Open. And the winner in the Collegiate Student Division is University of South Carolina Gamecock Productions softball intro. Thank you to STG for this award and for this awesome experience this week. And of course, thank you to all the staff at Gamecock Productions for the opportunity and guidance to grow and make this possible. Thank you. <laughs> Our next group, the Regional, Local, or Conference Digital Networks. Tonight's nominees. BYU TV, countdown to kickoff. Pac-12 Conference, power of 12 campaign. Longhorn Network, all the Live Long Day campaign. Mind Over Media, Our Athletics, Navy Tees. Fox Sports South, Sports South, Memphis, Ole Miss Tees. And the winner, 
Longhorn Network, all the Live Long Day campaign. And over there we have Earl firing up some sausages. And here it is, the LHN Transmitter Tower, pumping out Texas sports 24-7. You know, they say if you listen real close, you can hear Texas life. You hear it? Y'all want to go fire Smokey? Yeah! Let's go. Uh, thank you. Uh, I forgot before to uh, single out Greg Fonseca, our producer of Texas Game Day. So congrats to him. He's the man most responsible. Uh, I'll accept this one on behalf of Jill Cusack, our marketing director, uh, preacher, the ad agency that helped us with these spots. And uh, Jill wanted me to thank Bevo specifically. So thank you. I guess in, in this category, no thanks to Earl Campbell and Vince Young and Ricky Williams like the first category. I'm sensing a theme here. You know, Texas, great university and program, first of all, but I will say this about Texas. In 2005, they were maybe the greatest team of all time. Vince Young was the, the quarterback of that team. They went on to beat USC and maybe the, the one of the greatest football games that I've ever seen. And the reason I put them in that category of being one of the better college football teams of all time is because of who they beat, uh, the USC team that was riding that, that, that amazing win streak and was going for a third national title. Well, our team at Colorado had to play Texas twice that year, both in the state of Texas, and I got a concussion both times. <laughs> Congratulations, Texas. The collegiate athletics um, category here, uh, grouping here, our nominees tonight. Tennessee Tech University, men's and women's basketball season ticket campaign. St. John's University, Red Storm Productions. Men's Basketball Intro. Northeastern University, Jock the Vote. University of Michigan, Softball Intro. University of Michigan, heart and a purpose. University of South Carolina, Gamecock Productions, Fear Campaign. Lafayette College, Lafayette Rivalry 150 Intro. the winner, St. John's University, Red Storm Productions, men's basketball intro. to see and it was awesome to see it uh, at, at the garden at the Carnesec Arena this is really awesome here in front of my peers and thank you SVG for this this award it means a lot to be recognized for something I'm very proud of I'm very proud of this video a lot of hours a lot of time and I want to thank everyone St. John's for making this possible my boss Steve Nebraska for giving me the access to the basketball team my grad assistant Barney for all the help and everyone else that I didn't mention at St. John's for everything 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 they contributed to this I'm very proud of this thank you very much
And then our final group for the outstanding promo PSA, T's or marketing campaign, the national networks or professional broadcasters. Pack 12 Networks brand campaign. Passion. Drive. ESPN. The game hasn't changed. ESPN. College football top 25. Big Ten Network, The Journey, Basketball. Fox Sports, Big Ten Championship. And our winner, Pac-12 Network's brand campaign. Passion and pride beyond belief and behind the scenes. We are Pac-12 Networks. We are coverage. The complete kind. We are championships. The national kind. Uh, no one from the Pac-12 Networks is here, but uh, on behalf of them, obviously, thanks to the SVG. Hey, it's a long flight from the West Coast, you know? This is a, it's, a, it's a long ways. Um, as we move on, have you guys noticed the other conference that's going on at the hotel? <laughs> this might be a little weird, but uh, stepped out of the restroom. Before we came in here and I thought to myself would I rather be dressed up like that or walk around with my fly down I thought fly down because at least I wouldn't people would think I didn't know it was down you know like hey but you guys rather than I dress up like that they think I looked in the mirror and was like this is it <laughs> just on a side note real quick Momocon 2015 they should be, Brandon, outstanding program series next year, MomoCon. <laughs> Our next category is outstanding program series. We'll start with a group of the collegiate student division. University of Alabama, Gene Stallings Golf Tournament, Legacy. Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link, Out of the Shadows. University of South Carolina, Gamecock Productions. Gamecock Confidential, it's time. University of Missouri, Mizzou Analysis. University of Minnesota, Pride on Ice, Gopher Hockey, 2014-2015. Virginia Tech University, Hokey Vision, Sports Nutrition Tip of the Week. Virginia Tech University, Hokey Vision, The Rundown. Virginia Tech University, Hokey Vision, VT one on one. Tonight's winner, the University of South Carolina, Gamecock Productions, Gamecock Confidential. It's time.
talked about what great success we'd had over the last four years. Okay, you know, we've had back-to-back -back NCAA appearances. We've built this beautiful new stadium. You guys really have everything you need to be successful. I want you guys to feel like this is our year. And we think this year, and we told you this fall that it was time. That this is the group, it's time. And we believe that. You guys have got to believe it. This is going to be exciting. Hi, my name is Victoria Richardson, and this series was co-produced by myself and two other production assistants at Gamecock Productions, Caitlin Hummel and Patrick Cloney, excuse me. Um, but we are so honored to be receiving this award, and we couldn't have done it without all the Gamecock Productions staff. You guys are awesome, and working for you has probably been one of the best experiences of my college career so far. So thank you, SVG. This is super exciting for us. I mean, I thought hazing was done in our culture, and they're like w roaming around the hotel. I'm like, what are they doing hazing each other? And then I realized they, they, they thought that was, that was it. The, yep, I'm wearing this out. <laughs> our next group is the Regional Local Conference Digital Networks. West Coast Conference, Top Play Tuesday. Fox Sports San Diego, San Diego State University, San Diego State Weekly Show. Longhorn Network, All Access. Mind Over Media, the Penn State Hockey Story. Mind Over Media, Our Athletics. America East Conference, the AE Report. Conference USA, Conference USA Showcase. And the winner, Mind Over Media, the Penn State Hockey Story. The road is what you make of it, cold and formidable, a place to find out who you really are. A time to come together as one team. This would be goalie Eamon McAdams' second start of the year. More importantly, it was the season opener of the Big Ten season. Mixed emotions, winner and a loser right now. Uh, but more happy than sad, obviously. Uh, my name is Michael Messner. Uh, I wrote this down. We're all production people, and these speeches are like two seconds long, so I, I've got a little bit of time, maybe. I timed it out, it's a minute, and my flight was delayed, so. Uh, everything Penn State hockey starts with Terry and Kim Pagula and Joe Batista. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, this hockey show is here because of Billy Downey, uh, Jim Notchman, Morris Kurtz, Mike Wersbicki, Brad Keen, and Dana Krause, and of course, uh, the head coach, Guy Godowski, uh, who is as good of a person as he is a coach, and I'm grateful to be on this ride with you guys. I also played hockey there. Uh, thank you to the remarkable student athletes, coaches, and staff for letting us into your locker room. Uh, we never take that for granted. Uh, at the beginning of the year, it looked like we weren't going to have a show. It looked like we were just going to have a couple of segments, and uh, I was a little depressed about that. And I went in to uh, tell one of our new producers, uh, Josh Elsass, uh, 
the bad news. And he looked at me and he said, you mean I get to work on Penn State hockey as my job? This is the greatest day of my life. So Josh, thanks for putting things into perspective. Um, and thanks for the great work. He did a ton of work on this show. Um, at Mind Over Media, Guy Junker, Frick Weber, Jeff Stick, Michael Kronberger, Joe Witkowski, Guido Lee, and Jason Mortimer. You're the best production team anywhere. And personally, thanks to my beautiful wife, Lauren, and kids, Grayson and Cecilia. Thanks, everyone. Uh, our next division in this category is the Collegiate Athletics Division, and our nominees are. Ohio University, Ohio Soccer, The Camp. Texas A&M University, 12th Man Productions, The Pulse, Texas A&M Football. University of San Francisco, Hilltop Hoops. Northwestern University, The Foundation, 2015 Northwestern Spring Football. LaSalle University, hey, LaSalle coaches mic'd up. And our winner, University of San Francisco, Hilltop Hoops. BYU game when Coach Walter said, hey, we feel like we're the best team in this tournament. We believe it. You know, our guys played hard. We gave ourselves a chance. We didn't play a great game uh, in terms of efficiency, but I thought our effort was great. And it was like really the whole like third time. This is really kind of incredible. Um, first of all, SVG, thank you so much for recognizing not only my series, but the wonderful finalist series. I mean, there was so much diversity, and I'm just really honored to be a part of this. Um, I have a lot of people to thank as far as my two assistants. Yes, I finally got two assistants. I had a student assistant and a grad assistant. Wu, who I called the glide cam wizard, and Ling, who is and will always be my rock. Um, I want to thank my associate athletic director um, uh, and my AD, Scott Sidwell, Samantha Hartwell, for just saying, you go out and create and we have your back. Um, for the WCC network, the stuff that you do to showcase our schools in this conference is amazing. To my wonderful friendship with Matthew at APM Music, you just cannot tell great stories without great music. Um, my family for sacrificing so much to do what I love. Um, I'm sure I'm leaving. Oh, my social director, Jessica Lance, who is the best in the country. Uh, is that music playing for me to get out of here? <laughs> okay, I will end with this. In this business, you, you have to have two things. You have to have a vision and a work ethic. And I started working for Patrick Murphy, head softball coach at the University of Alabama. I started there with him at the very beginning of the program. And he Basically, we started with nothing. We had a, a, a rec park league type field. This is driving me nuts. And, and basically, we had like fenced in dugouts and we had 15 people to come to the game. 19 years now it's been. He's in his 10th uh, trip to the College World Series. He's going for his second national title. And basically what he taught me is, have, it just takes one person to have a vision. You have to nurture it, plant that seed, nurture it. Other people will believe, and then anything's possible. So basically what I took from that, 
even if you inherit nothing, it doesn't mean that one day it can't be extraordinary. So thank you so much. I really appreciate this. I, I had a lot of thoughts just then. One, the University of San Francisco's got a nice budget. Two assistants? It's like a Texas budget. We know your contracts. We know your television contracts. And secondly, not so easy to talk into a microphone with a producer in your ear, is it? <laughs> oh, I love it. Move on to the National Networks and Professional Division, our nominees tonight. Big Ten Network, The Journey, Basketball. Big Ten Network, The Journey, Football. CBS Sports, Men of March. Turner Sports, NCAA.com, once a champion. Pac-12 Networks, Mascot Challenge. Pac-12 Networks, The Drive. University of South Florida, New Era on the Bay. And our winner tonight, CBS Sports, Men of March. Still passionate and very motivated to do this. can produce something great. I appreciate that I'm at Duke every day. I have the same amount. Hi, my name's Alana Campbell. I was one of the producers on Men of March. On behalf of co-producer Sarah Rinaldi and myself, we'd like to thank everyone at the NCAA and CBS, specifically Sean McManus, David Burson, Harold Bryant, Steve Karasik, Emily Deutsch is our Vice President of Original Programming and Features. She's been wonderful throughout the series. This season we worked with eight different schools to get incredible access to, among others, Coach K and seven other very hardworking, established coaches that were uh, really welcoming and inviting and very, it was very nice of them to let us into their worlds for a couple of days. Um, it's a privilege to tell these stories, and there's so much going on, and there's so much evolving. There are so many things in the industry that are changing, but it's great to see the commitment to telling great stories, not only at a national level, but regional, and there are a lot of incredible student programs out here. So thank you to SVG, and um, thank you to Molly and Omar and my parents. Thanks. Uh, I, as we move along, you know, another reason why I was so excited to be a part of tonight and, and um, so grateful to SVG for asking me to be here is because there is something right now that is imminently important uh, in our industry, and, and that is respecting the sport that you're covering. Um, the reason I say that is because the noise that's cluttering the market space is deafening, and it truly is noise. Uh, everybody can be, at this point, their own television producer with Periscope. It'll be interesting to see how that changes the game. Everybody's live tweeting an event. They have a blog. They have an opinion. Uh, it's, it's all things, everywhere, all the time. 
And what gets lost in that is a lot of that is, is self-fulfilling and people just want clicks and it's clickbait and they want be more followers and it's all social media driven. And what we in this room have to stay focused on is respecting the sport. Because the one thing that that noise doesn't have is authenticity. And that's the one thing that we do have. And you do that, you respect the sport by earning the respect, covering it the right way, working hard. And anything that's earned, in my mind, is authentic. And if you produce every single show, if you edit every show, if you go into work every single day and you think to yourself, my baseline is that I'm gonna respect the sport and then I'm gonna let the entertainment value flow from that, then I think that we're gonna start making really, really, really good television all the time. And it's on us to do that because Lord knows there's gonna be enough of the junk out there for everyone to consume. That's why it's so important that this type of entity, SVG, uh, continue, stay strong, to continue to grow like they have this year because if we're not gonna do it, nobody is. And, and that's something that I, I'm obviously very passionate about. Um, I wanted to say that before this category because I don't think that there's another category that embodies the respect of the story, the individual, the sport, more than outstanding feature, special feature. Uh, these are remarkable. I love watching features. We've got some of the great uh, feature producers in the business at Fox. I absolutely love working with them and on these types of features. And it's, it's one of those things that, that's real, it's authentic, and it allows you to tell a story that's true and respects what's going on in, in, in the space. Uh, we'll start with the Collegiate Student Division in the Outstanding Special Feature category, our, nom our nominees tonight. Ball State University, Ball State Sportsling, A Rugged Path, The Shelby Murder Story. Ball State University, Ball State Sportsling, Broken, The Andrew Stutt Story. University of Oregon, 2014 Volleyball Highlights. Florida State University, Seminole Productions, Renegade's Last Ride. University of Alabama, Gene Stallings. Middle Tennessee State University, EMC Productions, 100 Years of Football. And our winner, Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link, Broken, the Andrew Stutz Story. Seventeen and eighteen, and looking back and seeing those kids that I used to look up to were kids that I could beat, and now I was one of the people that kids looked up to when they thought of the good tennis players in the state. Prior to the injury, felt like he was going to have his choice of, of a few Division One schools to choose from, and um, he thought, you know, this it's all going down the tubes now. Nobody's going to want to talk to me about tennis anymore. First off, thanks. It's a huge honor to be standing up here. Um, so thank, thanks so much to SVG and um, all the judges that helped uh, make this happen. I'd like to thank a couple of people. Uh, probably should thank a lot more than what I have time for. Um, but first and foremost, my classmates that uh, you know helped me make uh, both those nominees: uh, J.C. Obringer, Nick Panazzo, and Tim Rushi. Also, thanks to um, our uh, directors in charge our faculty advisors, Chris Taylor, uh, Alex Cartman, and then our graduate assistant, Brad Daly. Uh, thanks for fostering an environment uh, that really allows for creativity. Um, lastly, I'd, I'd also like to thank uh, both the families involved because 
a feature story demands a lot of time and demands a lot of time out of the people you're trying to tell the story about. Um, so the Stutz family and the murders as well. Uh, and then lastly, I'd also like to thank my parents um, for uh, all the sacrifices they've made uh, to give me opportunities like these. Thank you. Man, so cool. Keep telling stories. I, that's fantastic. Our, our next division, regional, local, conference, digital networks, our nominees. Longhorn Network, Her Voice, the Imani McGee Stafford story. Longhorn Network, Miles and Alyssa. Mind Over Media, Our Athletics Foundation. Northeast Conference, St. Francis, You Believe. West Coast Conference, The W.TV, The Long Road to Recovery. And our winner, the third win tonight, The Longhorn Network, her voice, the Amani McGee Stafford story. I mean, the parents are so approachable, the love between them. You will rarely go home, but when you do, you will always be drowning, clamoring for air. There will be so much want there. Air thick with unmet expectation, you and your parents will always be jigsaw, putting pieces together, trying to force a pretty picture, but somewhere along the way, you will forget you are each other's pieces to hold. I always say poetry is air, because I think it's something I can't live without. I, I credit poetry for saving my life. Thank you. Uh, all the folks that should be up here on vacation, so sorry you have to hear from me again. Uh, this one, uh, congratulations to uh, Michael Holmes, the producer who uh, did this, LZ Granderson, the reporter. Uh, but most of all, we want to thank Imani. Uh, I've been doing features for 15 years, and this is, you know, literally in the, my three favorite of all time. Just an incredibly strong, uh, talented, and honest person. And, I hope you get a chance to watch it because she's amazing. Thank you. Our next division, the Collegiate Athletics Division. University of Georgia, Malcolm Mitchell Book Club. University of Delaware, Pro Day. <laughs> University of Notre Dame, Fighting Irish Digital Media, Matthias Farley Tattoo Stories. North Dakota State University Athletics, Heroes. Baylor University, back-to-back -back Big 12 championships. Clemson University, military appreciation. And our winner, the University of Georgia, Malcolm Mitchell Book Club. And it's all I, I've been adopted into their family. And I definitely enjoy it because any, any time there's nothing to do in Athens, they always invite me over either just to hang out with their kids, <laughs> which are my age, or some of them older than me. And uh, just to hang out, eat, have fun, talk. And they do a lot of stuff that I never thought I'd even be 
questioning myself about doing, like cooking, <laughs> or uh, Kathy actually knits and stuff like that, so it was, yeah, how about that, huh? Well, the story sort of told itself, Bilbo. Um, wide receiver hanging out with uh, middle-aged women in a book club, we had to do it, right? Um, just about every single person in our office had at least some part to do with, uh, with this, and it's, uh, it's good to be noticed a little bit. Appreciate it. And the National Networks and Professional Division. Fox Sports, college basketball, Luther Wright. When they called your name, what went through your mind? Well, I thought they were going to call me a little drop. ESPN, Jacob Jarvis, a season to remember. The season he hopes will never end. ESPN, live like Lutz. ESPN, Sammy's strength. Remember our relationship was like, nobody can talk about this and never look at each other. Turner Sports, NCAA.com. Greg and Peggy Nybert, Fostering Lives. And the winner. Turner Sports, NCAA.com, Greg and Peggy Nybert, Fostering Lives. My 26th season as a head coach on the smallest Division I school in the country. It's just been a real blessing to stay at one place, uh, especially in the college coaching ranks. Go! Help him out! Help him out! That's a boy. Think about your follow through. To be at one school for that many years is, is uh, incredible. But this isn't a basketball story. I was just a stay-at-home mom. All right. I'm not supposed to be up here. I, I produced that, but I just came here with my wife because we were just going to come watch ESPN take this home, and we are going to go get dinner afterwards. So. <laughs> Our group is three producers with NCA.com. Um, this was an amazing story that I went out with the camera guy, an audio guy, we shot it, we brought it back, and I cut it myself. So I'm proud of that. I'm proud that they you know, let me into their home to tell their story. And it just goes to show that if, if the story's good and you believe in it, you know, you know, things like this can happen. So. Just want to thank SVG. Appreciate it. I mean, not only did you win the award, you beat a Tom Rinaldi feature. <laughs> Pretty good. Guy reads the encyclopedia, everyone's like, oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Our big category of the night. Um, real quick, in the panel before I, uh, we started the award show, um, it was very interesting because the three gentlemen, and uh, you guys were fantastic, uh, not only with the stories that you told about um, your careers, albeit lengthy careers, I mean, you're, you're near retirement. You, you said it, not me. Um, you gave some advice that was so sound and so good, and I wanted to reiterate it because there are some people in the room um, that weren't in the room at that point. And they were talking about getting into this business from uh, the, the student divisions and, and getting into the business from there and, and how do you do it. Um, they all talked about it can be as little as knocking on a door, whether that's a production truck or somebody's office, because in this business, everybody needs help. We're all short staffed. We're, we're all, even on the national side, we're all looking for good quality help and we're looking for people that are passionate about what they do. 
And, and when you're passionate about what you do and you care about what you're doing, what happens is, is that you don't even realize it when you're getting repetitions. And one of the gen gentlemen mentioned repetitions, thousands at a time, that you can, when you're passionate about something, you can do thousands of repetitions and it doesn't feel like work. Um, I'm a huge fan of Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outlier. I'm sure a lot of you have read it. It's a phenomenal book, but he talks about uh, that point. That he, he talked about the 10,000 hour rule, as it were, and, and uh, especially for the Beatles, they had hours and hours of playing experience live because one of their gigs as they were starting their band was playing at a nightclub uh, back home in England for literally hours, just live. Their music, other people's music. So by the time they got their chance, by the time they got their break, and trust me when I tell you, you young people, you'll get your break and you will get your chance because there's far too many networks and too many spots to fill for you not to get your chance. But when the Beatles got their chance, they were ready because of all those hours of playing live music. So it can feel monotonous at times you know, whether it's editing or producing the same show again, oh, it's Tuesday and it's just, you know, this same old show again and uh, the talent on that show is never prepared and, blah, you know, whatever it is, just know that that's a rep and that's a rep that somebody else is not getting and that's a rep that's going to help you get to where you ultimately want to be. Uh, I thought it was great advice um, that was said earlier in, in the day and I just wanted to reiterate it to this room. Now to our big event of the night, the Outstanding Live Game Production, and we start with the Collegiate Student Division. St. Cloud State University, Husky Productions, Men's Hockey, St. Cloud State versus Nebraska Omaha. Northern Arizona University, Football, Northern Arizona versus Southern Utah University. Ryerson University, men's hockey, Ryerson versus York University. Jacksonville State University, football, Jacksonville State versus University of Tennessee Martin. St. John's University, Red Storm Productions, Men's Basketball, St. John's versus Humboldt State University. And the winner, St. Cloud State University Husky Productions. Before that, the Huskies came home with their first ever Hobie Baker winner. And Mass is not happy that that one eluded him. Nope, not at all. Sometimes you just blink at the wrong time, I think. I love that he comes across the blue line. Whitman here, the D-man. Look at the D-man backing into the hash marks. You've got to shoot that puck. Yeah, I think Massa wants it back, but those D-men can... it is to be up here tonight. Um, first of all, thank you so much to the SBG for recognizing um, Husky Productions on this level tonight. A huge thank you to our executive producer, Brian Stanley, for his constant encouragement and support throughout our entire season, as well as our engineers, Derek Silvestri, Wesley Beskar, James Magnuson, and Tommy Bice. Um, I also want to say thank you to FSN for allowing us the amazing opportunity this season to air a couple of our broadcasts on their network. Um, and finally, I want to say thank you to my crew. Um, four of us were able to make it tonight, all the way from Minnesota, but there are 20 students back home that were a huge part of all the productions this season, and this award wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for um, each and every one of them giving up their Friday and Saturday nights. So thank you. Uh, you know, that regional, this regional local conference digital networks division, um, as well as all of these divisions, maybe outside of the national networks, you know, affords you all those opportunities and reps like these young students are getting. And it allows you essentially to make mistakes, right? I mean, that's what you ultimately learn from the most is making mistakes. 
just real quick. I was working for Fox Sports Southwest for Ed Pete, who's here. And uh, I wasn't very long into the in industry yet, and we were doing a Big 12 football pregame show. And they come to me on, on Oklahoma State, and they were playing Oklahoma that day. Oklahoma was ranked number, I think, two or three in the country at the time. Very good football team uh, for Bob Stoops. And I thought it was imperative that Oklahoma State get some early momentum in the game. So it comes to me, you know, it's kind of, the, it's the A block, we're high energy, and it's like, how's Oklahoma State gonna pull this off? And I was like, well, Rick Renner was our host. I was like, Rick, it's imperative that Oklahoma State have some early sex. <laughs> and then I was like, success, success. So don't worry if you make mistakes. It happens. The Regional Local Conference Digital Networks Division. Southland Conference Baseball Championship Southeastern Louisiana versus Central Arkansas Fox Sports South Sports South ACC Men's Basketball Florida State versus Miami West Coast Conference The W.TV Men's Basketball Gonzaga versus Pepperdine Longhorn Network, Baseball, Baylor versus Texas. And our winner, Longhorn Network, Baseball, Baylor versus Texas. It's coming home. They're going to send Brooks Marlowe. Here comes a relay throw. Not in time. Texas wins it 5-4 to four on a walk-off from Mark Payton. 70 games straight. Doesn't get much better than celebration time. Hi, I'm not Tom. Uh, who accepted all the other awards for us. I'm here on behalf of Pat Lowry. Uh, she wanted to thank Stephanie Drulli and her staff, Ben, Brad, Drew, Ivan, Jacob, and Jess. Thank you. And for our Collegiate Athletics Division, our nominees tonight. Rochester Institute of Technology, RIT Sports Zone Live. Men's Hockey, RIT versus Robert Morris. Rochester Institute of Technology, RIT Sports Zone Live. Men's Hockey, RIT versus Army. Texas A&M University, 12th Man Productions. Men's Basketball, Sam Houston State versus Texas A&M. University of North Carolina, Go Heels TV. Baseball, Virginia Tech versus University of North Carolina. University of Arkansas, Razorback Sports Network. Baseball, LSU versus Arkansas. Tonight's winner is the University of Arkansas, Razorback Productions, LSU-Arkansas baseball game. First pitch and you dig yourself in a hole. Bouncer towards Wernis, here he goes again. Deja vu all over again with Bobby Wernis. The exact same play from la a few nights ago. Well, it doesn't hurt that Bobby Wernis is six foot three over at third base, so he covers just a tremendous amount, very long arms. Notice he's got a lot of time, doesn't even come up and get to his feet, but that's just an amazing play, Alex. That's literally the Rewind about a year and a half ago, um, Michelle Glover, our fearless leader, told us all uh, that we would be, you know, beginning this SEC Network project with students running most of our broadcasts. and. Uh, Literally everybody looked at her like she was insane. 
and uh, we, we were like, this is not going to be able to be possible. Fast forward to uh, August 14th of last year, um, we were doing a soccer scrimmage, and uh, everybody at ESPN, Scott Heck, found out that, um, that we were doing that to practice. Well, he said, hey, that's the launch of the network, and uh, we're just going to put you on the linear network, and you guys can be the first one to launch it. Um, we had no students in over the summer. Uh, they showed up on a Monday, and we trained for three days, and we did our first broadcast on the launch of the, le of the network. Um, I don't think anybody's been that nervous before that moment. Um, but fast forward to now, uh, we've come light years, and that's um, all because of um, what Michelle Glover has done for our department, uh, the support from Jeff Long and Chris Freet um, uh, in our administration to put in the money to uh, build us a new production facility to be able to live up to the expectations um, and the help from ESPN and Scott Heck, um, as well as the rest of our entire student crew and full-time uh, crew that put in a lot of hours this last year to make this happen. So um, this is a big honor and uh, um, reflects a lot of hard work from our department. So thank you very much. The national networks category, and, and quickly before um, I get, we get to the nominees, Live events are so great. That's what we live for, right? Regardless, the, regardless of the sport. And, and remember, at the core of respecting the sport is making sure that your production doesn't get in the way of the game. Because that's what people are tuning in for, not your camera cutting or a graphic or what the announcers are saying. They're tuning in to watch the game, and you're there to cover it. And that's it. From the national networks doing a, a, a championship level game, all the way down to televising water polo. I guess that's more in the Pac-12 area, but I don't, I, whatever it is, they're watching the game. And so just remember, less is always more at any level of production when getting involved with uh, a live game production. And our last award of the night, the National Networks and Professional Grade Outstanding Live Game Production, our nominee. Pac-12 Networks, football, Cal versus Arizona. CBS Sports, Turner Sports, NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, Duke versus Wisconsin. ESPN, 2015 NCAA Wrestling Championships. Fox Sports, football, USC versus Arizona State. ESPN, football, Notre Dame versus Florida State University. ESPN, ACC men's basketball, North Carolina versus Duke. Fox Sports, Big Ten Football Championship, Ohio State versus Wisconsin. And our award goes to Turner Sports NCAA.com for the 2015 NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, Duke and Wisconsin. Screen gets him to the box. Pretty play. Big Frank provides the lift, the roadblock, the dive. Last four points to Wisconsin after trailing very briefly for the first time in the half. Kaminsky's got to get out. Jones, that's a three. Oh. And Duke's right back in front. How about this kid? Ooh, did he get a little help on this one? Hi, I am here to accept this on behalf of Mark Wolf and Bob Fishman, our fearless producer and director, who also happen to be two incredible mentors of mine. Um, again, Sean, David, Harold, and Steve Karasik, uh, all of our partners at Turner, we had uh, an incredible partnership. It's been going on for several years now. I know that there have been a lot of uh, 
great innovative things that we've been able to do. I really liked, as a fan, the rail cam this year. It was a lot of fun. I saw Tom Sahara working with it a lot. Kenny Guard, of course. Um, I spoke with Fish and Wolfie before I came here, and Fish wanted me to emphasize that it's been, by and large, the same technical crew year after year since 1982 that has been able to kind of, as Joel's mentioned, stay out of the way of the story and let the drama unfold. And uh, this year's Final Four was an outstanding weekend of basketball if you're a college basketball fan. Um, he said, we've never tried to be the story just to cover it to the best of our ability. It truly takes a village. And uh, last but not least, um, we lost our technical manager, Dennis Stone, this year. He was a longtime tech manager and technical director, and this is for him. We always think about him. Thank you. Um, quick reminder, next door will be a reception immediately following uh, our awards uh, ceremony here. And I do want to give a big thanks to Ross, production te uh, technology experts, for being the title sponsor of the event. Um, I want to thank SVG for giving me the opportunity to be here. I want to thank you guys for bearing with me through long stories and bad jokes. So we pre I appreciate that very much. Um, you guys are in a wonderful field. Doesn't feel like work, does it? This is amazing what we get to do every single day, whether you're on the national network or whether you're a student doing a, a student-run production. Uh, have fun, enjoy it, be passionate about your work, and do quality work, respect the sport. Thank you so much for tonight. <laughs>